Locust Robotics is one of the key elements where we're able to achieve our goal of pick, pack, and shipping on time. After a demonstration test, and we are hoping to have the first unmanned mission today, this year end. And uh, it, which you can think of the car really as a robot on wheels, and this is a robot on legs. Yeah, so I get a warning of when he needs to move and stuff like that, so I can uh, plan my time appropriately. Which you decrease cycle time, you improve productivity, and you improve our ability to get our trucks out on time. Number five, Locust Robotics. Locust Robotics, a global leader in autonomous mobile robots, or AMRs, will showcase its new heavyweight payload AMRs at Automate 2023 in Detroit. The company will showcase its Vector and Max models, along with its cutting-edge Locust One warehouse automation platform. Vector is designed for small to medium payloads and is capable of handling materials requiring payload capacities up to 600 pounds. It uses state-of-the-art sensors and algorithms to efficiently maneuver through dynamic warehouse environments, reducing cycle times and improving order fulfillment rates. Locust Max is a high-mobility AMR designed for material handling in demanding manufacturing and industrial settings. It combines high maneuverability, unparalleled strength, and stability with intelligent task allocation capabilities, revolutionizing workflow, efficiency, and safety standards within warehouses. Locus One, the industry's first data science-driven warehouse automation platform, supports enterprise-wide AMR deployments and performance management in brownfield or greenfield environments. The platform's intuitive interface provides warehouse operators with real-time, actionable insights, enabling them to monitor, manage, and optimize their operations with ease. Rick Falk, CEO of Locus Robotics, is excited to unveil the game-changing Vector and Max AMRs at the prestigious Automate Show. The company aims to transform manufacturing and warehouse operations, boost productivity, and streamline product movement and fulfillment workflows within a single coordinated platform. Locus Robotics offers a new paradigm in warehouse efficiency, empowering businesses to achieve unmatched productivity and stay ahead in today's dynamic market. Number 4. Viomitra Viomitra, the female humanoid robot developed by the Indian Space Research Organization, is poised to play a crucial role in India's first manned space mission, Gaganyaan. As a half-humanoid robot with a robotic torso and head, Viomitra is designed to perform a variety of tasks on board the spacecraft, including microgravity experiments, monitoring module parameters, and supporting astronauts during crewed missions. Named after the Sanskrit words for space and friend, Viomitra represents a significant advancement in India's space technology. Unveiled in 2020, Viomitra has undergone rigorous testing at ISRO's headquarters in Bengaluru, including simulated space conditions to ensure her readiness for the mission. During the Gaganyaan mission, Viomitra will be launched into space on board the ISRO. Over the course of about a week in orbit, she will perform various tasks, including testing life support, navigation, and communication systems. Additionally, Viomitra will collect valuable data on the effects of space travel on humans, contributing to the advancement of space science and technology. The benefits of sending Viomitra on the Gaganyaan mission are manifold. First, she will test the systems and procedures that will be used for the manned mission in a safe and controlled environment, ensuring the success and safety of future crewed missions. Secondly, Viomitra's data collection on the effects of space travel on humans will inform the development of measures to enhance the safety and well-being of astronauts during extended missions. Furthermore, Viomitra's participation in the Gaganyaan mission will raise awareness of India's space program and inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Her role in the mission exemplifies India's commitment to advancing space exploration and technology, positioning the country as a key player in the global space community. Number 3. Fourier Intelligence's GR-1 Fourier Intelligence's GR-1, a humanoid robot, made a significant debut at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai in July, showcasing the immense potential of bipedal robots. The Chinese-designed robot demonstrated its ability to walk at 5 km per hour on two legs while carrying a 50-kilogram load, highlighting the prowess of bipedal robots 
in the evolving tech landscape. Fourier Intelligence, founded in 2015 with a focus on rehabilitation robotics, has since diversified its offerings, including smart exercise bikes, wireless robotic gloves, and computer-guided devices aiding movement restoration. Alex Gu aligns with Tesla CEO Elon Musk's vision for humanoid robots as tools for mundane tasks and companionship. He also recognizes the potential of large language models, such as those underlying AI chatbots like ChatGPT, which could grant robots logical reasoning abilities, enhancing their human-like qualities. Fourier's focus on hardware development aligns with collaborations with AI companies for LLM integration. GR1's deployment for research and development is underway, with mass production planned by year-end. Security robots are gaining popularity across the U.S. as a response to rising crime rates. The global security robot market is projected to reach $31.08 billion by 2030, with a 12.8% CAGR. Nightscope Incorporated, an advanced security technology company headquartered in Silicon Valley, specializes in creating fully autonomous security robots that deter, detect, and report. Established in 2013, Nightscope leverages four key technologies – autonomy, robotics, artificial intelligence, and electric vehicle tech – to develop their unique solutions. Their tech has logged over 2.3 million hours of real-world field operation. Nightscope's acquisition of Case Emergency Systems in 2022 bolstered their capabilities and drove significant revenue growth. The company boasts an impressive clientele, including the New York Police Department, New York City Fire Department, San Luis Obispo Council of Governments, and the Orange County Transportation Authority. Nightscope secured several substantial deals nationwide, including a $1.25 million contract with Rutgers. The State University of New Jersey, encompassing 145 devices, and a pilot contract with the New York Police Department for a K-5 robot designated for patrolling a Manhattan subway station. Nightscope successfully deployed its first two K-1 Hemisphere ASRs in Hawaii, marking the conclusive phase of product development, client testing. Collaborating with a globally recognized brand specializing in full-service hotels and resorts, Nightscope initiated a comprehensive evaluation phase. The deployment of a K-5 in Ohio has garnered national attention. Number 2. Optimus Tesla Inc. is developing Optimus, also known as Tesla Bot, a general-purpose robotic humanoid. The company announced the product at its Artificial Intelligence Day event in August 2021 and showed a prototype in 2022. Elon Musk stated that Optimus has the potential to be more significant than Tesla's vehicle business over time. In June 2022, Tesla announced the first prototype that would be unveiled later in 2022 at the second AI Day event. Semi-functional prototypes of Optimus were displayed at Tesla's second AI Day, with one prototype able to walk about the stage and another sleeker version capable of moving its arms. In September 2023, Tesla released a video of Optimus demonstrating new activities, such as sorting colored blocks by color, locating its limbs in space, and maintaining a yoga pose. On December 13, 2023, Tesla released a video titled Optimus featuring Optimus Generation 2, which shows its walking and showing new features, such as dancing and poaching an egg. The Optimus is planned to measure 5 foot 8 inches and weigh 125 pounds. It will be controlled by the same AI system Tesla is developing for the advanced driver assistance system used in its cars and have a carrying capacity of 45 pounds. Reception of the proposed Tesla bot has been mixed, with some publications reacting with skepticism while others claim that all that was shown in these latest presentations had already been accomplished by other robotics programs. Expert opinions on Optimus and its prototypes have been diverse with some commending the venture while describing early demonstrations as less than impressive. Carl Berry, a lecturer of robotics engineering, described the 2021 AI Day presentation as the usual overblown hype. Following the Cyber Rodeo event, researcher Gary Marcus stated that no robot will be able to do all human tasks by the end of 2023. 
Deutsche Well cited experts like AI researcher Philip Pignewski, robotics expert Cynthia Young, and executive director of Mass Robotics Tom Ryden as calling the project a complete and utter scam, questioning its advancedness, and criticizing the choice of a humanoid form. Number 1. Flippy Meso Robotics has upgraded its Flippy 2 model, incorporating feedback from a pilot program with the White Castle hamburger chain in Chicago. The new cybernetic chef can now perform twice as many food preparation tasks as the original Flippy, including basket filling, emptying, and returning. This is due to the current economic situation, which has led to staff shortages in restaurants, leading to rising prices, reduced menus, shortened opening hours, and even complete closures. Introduced in 2017, Flippy is a standalone robotic arm that uses computer vision and machine learning to perform simple kitchen tasks like working a burger grill. However, the White Castle pilot program showed that the robot still needs human co-workers for complex tasks like working the fry station. By combining the improved Flippy 2 with the new Autobin system, the robot can now handle twice as many food preparation tasks as the original Flippy and can handle multiple fry bins, allowing vegetables and fish to be cooked simultaneously without mixing flavors. Miso Robotics reports that Flippy 2 can handle about 60 baskets per hour, takes up 56% less aisle space, and is 13% shorter than its predecessor. It also has fewer services that need cleaning, allowing for greater cost reduction. The company is also involved in pilot projects with other national brands as it works its way into the $278.6 billion market. Mike Bell, CEO of Miso Robotics, says that Flippy 2 has evolved significantly from its predecessor and is grateful for the insights collected from White Castle to push its development forward in a real restaurant environment. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.